Hello, welcome to today's episode, which we make ramen with spam, because spam is gross, and let's head to the video. Okay, so we got our, we need, uh, I guess normal ramen, I don't know, Montreal ramen, uh, some spam, some chicken broth. I already opened the chicken broth, but then my SD card got all corrupt and messed up, so now I need a new SD card, and I'm using another one. But, so this is already open, and we should probably also get some sriracha right here. Normal, I don't know, I can't read whatever that says. Some soy sauce, normal soy sauce, I don't know, there's not very many brands. And olive oil, again, doesn't matter, it's okay. Pour your chicken broth now that it's open into the pot. Like that. There's just always this gross yellow thing. I don't know what it is. If people want to tell me what it is, it only grosses me out. Set your pot on the stove. Uh, I guess high. I don't think it matters. Again, this is pretty. It's ramen. You can't really mess it up. Uh, and just let that simmer. Now that the chicken broth is boiling, we can put in the ramen. I'm gonna do a half batch because it's early in the morning. Break that in half if you want to do half. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Set the timer for two minutes. While it's doing that, we can cut up bits of our spam. I don't know how to get the spam out. That's kind of the issue here. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to take off my fingers. I'm not careful. I'm just gonna do like two sl slices down the middle. Just like cut out them, <laughs> cut out the middle. Yeah, there we go. That's how you open spam. Oh, it's so gross. Oh my god. There we go. It looks like. Oh my goodness. Okay. Slice up spam. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never tried this. This is the first time trying it. Hope you can still see. It's really gross. There you go. Chunks of dead pork. By the time I've moved my tripod around a few times, the ramen should be good to go. Use a strainer to get out all the water, chicken broth stuff and just have the noodles. Put the noodles back in a, oh jeez. That didn't go as planned. Back in the pan. There we go. I don't know why is it cooking already. Why is the pan hot? The pan isn't hot. Oh well, okay. Add the spam to the pan. Like that, I guess. There we go. Gross. Ew, there's spam on the stove. Add the whatever. Ow. Ooh, it's hot. Oh. Add the water, chicken broth back. You can let that simmer. I have like a low, low bake zone on the back. And just. Oof. Turn it on. Turn on the burner. We have, well, I guess we have an electric stove, no burners. And just let that cook. You can add your sriracha and stuff to it now. And just keep it moving, otherwise it's gonna burn. After a few minutes, your ramen should change colors. In that time, you should probably take it off. Grab that bowl you had from earlier and pour the chicken broth, the warm chicken broth, back in. Along with the pan of ramen and spam. Delicious. Yeah, you get to see it tour my house. I gotta clean up all these dishes afterward too. Let's see. Let's zoom in on it. Get a fork. I don't know who's gonna eat this. I'm definitely not gonna eat too much of it. It's really gross. I don't wanna let it go to waste though. There's the 
Oh. Oh, it's so salty. There's some noodles. I should probably eat it with chopsticks. Chopsticks is a lot easier to eat ramen with. Hmm. It tastes like it doesn't really taste like chicken anymore. It tastes like pork and chicken. Anyway, goodbye, people.